What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode number two of Powerlifting Chronicles. So today was bench day, followed with some chest and tricep, uh, with a chest and tricep bodybuilding day. And uh, as I said before, I squat every single day. So every time I get inside the gym, I'm doing some type of squat. Now, right now, you guys are watching me do um, just a low bar um, back squat. Today, I worked up to a heavy single of uh, 495 pounds. So, yeah, every day I, I just squat. It's either going to be a heavy single or some volume work. So, moving on to bench, I kind of want to take you guys through my warm up routine. So, I'll get the bar with no weight on it and do some do some reps, probably eight to twelve reps, nice and controlled. Make sure I have my form down. Then I'll add a forty five pound plate and make plate jumps until I get to my working set. Today I worked up to today I had um, I had six sets of six with 265 pounds I believe so I'm, I've been really trying to fix up my form on bench I've also like during the meet I, I kind of went in with no technique it was just kind of just you know get under the bar and just bench it so now I'm focusing more on you know having that arch in my back and making sure my shoulder blades are pinched together making sure everything is tight um, keeping my quads really tight, making sure I'm using some leg drive when I'm benching. It's just, it, it's making a big difference. So one of the big changes I've made too was having a slight pause at, at the bottom of each rep. When I was, whenever I was uh, prepping for my first meet, I just, you know, bounced it off my chest. So I wasn't really practicing the pause bench that much. But now every single time I bench for my powerlifting program, I am stopping, I'm complete, I'm coming to a dead stop at the bottom of each rep. So now, um, we did some slow reps on bench. So let's just bring it slowly down and explode right back up. So I had three sets of three of the same weight of 265 pounds. So after bench press, I moved on to incline press, incline bench press uh, with the 100 pounds. I did five sets of anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. Now I try to keep the same, um, the same concept up with the incline press that I use on bench press. You want to kind of stay tight, um, drive your shoulder blades together, and push into the bench and use your legs, and just keep everything pretty tight. Now incline, anything incline for for chest is. Is, is, is basically what I want to do. So now we moved on to incline uh, barbell bench and um, same concept again with the with the bench press. But when you're doing an incline press, you want to high point the bar and get the bar to the highest point on your chest. Next, I moved on to uh, my triceps. So I started off with rope tricep push downs. I did five sets of 15 reps. I don't go heavy on this, I just try to control the weight up and down. Next we're moving on to French press with um, I think with the 75 pound dumbbell. I Once again I did 5 sets of 15. Next up I had one of my favorite tricep exercises, dumbbell skull crushers. I did 4 sets of 20. I like to stay on the ground when I do them just so when I hit the ground it kind of stops and it's not uh, putting a lot of stress on my elbows when it's flying all the way back. I finished off my workout with three AMRAP sets of bodyweight dips. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.